What are you trying to do? Film? Yes. Hi guys, last week I was in Orange, uh, New South Wales. I went there with one of my good friends, Salem. He's the one who introduced me to photography. So each time we have an opportunity, we try to go out there and shoot together. So we went to Orange to take pictures of some vineyard or vineyards, depending where you are. And uh, they have a lot of vineyards over there. And Salim was looking after that classic picture of dead vineyards next to some very bright red and orange trees. It's actually autumn now in Australia. And um, this is why it was a perfect time as apparently they don't have any evergreens over there. So it took us about four hours to get there uh, with a stop at McDonald's to get a coffee and a bacon and egg uh, muffin because this is my road trip tradition. So the first stop in Orange was at the Cook Park. It was one of the top uh, attraction to see in Orange. So we went there and we were quite disappointed. It's very small and there is a little pond with some ducks, um, but it's not great for photography. So if you go to Orange to do some photography, you avoid the Cook Park. So after a disappointing start of our photo trip, uh, we headed to the Cannibalas Lake. It's a beautiful lake. It's surrounded by trees and the, the, we, have, we found a, a lot of reds, a lot of yellows. Um, it was a beautiful place to shoot. As the sun was coming down, we decided to go to the Pinnacle Lookout. It's a beautiful lookout overlooking Orange. I highly recommend it. It is a 15 minute walk to get there. You can park at the bottom and I tell you the view from the valley is gorgeous. We waited until sunset and then we drove to our campsite in the Nanga National Park. So the roads in the Nanga National Park are terrible. Uh, I did a lot of national park, I usually get a normal car and you can drive uh, to the center of the park and then you hike. Uh, for this park you need a 4x4. We really thought we would actually destroy Salem's car. And it's full of rocks, it's full of cracks, it's, it's really steep so you need a 4x4 to actually get there. Once we got there, uh, we set up the tent and we ate a bit of food and then we went outside. And outside we did some night photography. For the first time, we took picture of the Milky Way. Uh, we saw quite a few articles and reviews and tutorials on how to take pictures, so we thought, hey, we're gonna give it a crack and we're gonna take pictures of the Milky Way. So we spent two hours taking pictures and uh, I think we took some really nice ones. So in the morning, we woke up early and then we did some landscape photography. It was really relaxing to climb the frosty hills uh, of this national park and we stopped at the Dripping Rock. So I wasn't really impressed with the Dripping Rock. It's a bit boring, uh, but I managed to go on the top of the rock and uh, it made for a really good composition. Salim spent a lot of time in the hills and he took some beautiful shots in the area. So after we went back to the campsite, we had a coffee and we made our way to Bathurst. Bathurst, it's a beautiful little city. Uh, it's full of green areas and parks. And on the way, there is the Mount Panorama racing track. And because it's a public road, you can actually drive on it. And this is what we did. And the funny part is Salem actually drove on that track many times on Gran Turismo on PlayStation. So we made a little time lapse for you. It's really good. So after Bathurst, we headed back to Katoomba and on the way to Katoomba, we stopped at the uh, Evans Lookout. It's a gorgeous lookout. I went there many times and we did some sunset photography there. And uh, if you have the occasion to visit New South Wales, you want to stop in Katoomba and you want to do all the lookouts around. It's absolutely stunning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was my first road trip video, photography road trip. 
Um, let me know in the comments below if you liked it. I might do some more very soon. As always, thumbs up if you like it. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the button somewhere. Thank you. Bye-bye. Is not big enough? Uh, yeah. Is the tent not big enough? <laughs> the tent is adequate. It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. <laughs>